Hemp was a hit today in Frankfurt. The Senate Agriculture Committee had the first hearing for Senate Bill 50, which would give Kentucky farmers the opportunity to grow industrial hemp. But this issue has overwhelming support of the people. State Ag Commissioner James Comer says industrial hemp would be a cash cow for someone. State Police Commissioner Rodney Brewer says the problem is that someone is marijuana growers. Because of the similarities between hemp and marijuana, uh, they are identical in appearance when it comes to the naked eye. State yes, sir, police and the Commonwealth's attorneys were the lone voices against industrial hemp because of fears it would make fighting marijuana growing more difficult. Otherwise, it was an all-star cast testifying in favor of a bill that would set up a way for Kentucky to grow it. The marijuana growers are about the last people who want industrial hemp. They From former CIA director and member of the North American Industrial Hemp Council, James Woolsey, to longtime hemp proponent, Senator Rand Paul. It's a crop that's legal everywhere else in the world except for the United States. And representatives Thomas Massey and John Yarmouth arguing it would bring jobs to Kentucky, helping farmers who once grew tobacco. I am loath to give up on any potential economic opportunities that this commonwealth possesses. You've all heard of eBay. Nobody's heard of the second uh, online bidding site. You've all heard of Facebook. You've all heard of Google. What if somebody sat back and said, well, let's see in how the search engine business goes for Google before we get into this business. It's testimony that convinced 10 members of the Ag Committee to give it unanimous support. Senate Bill 50 still has to pass the full Senate and then head over to the House before it would become law. And even if all of that happens, federal law still has hemp on its list of controlled substances. Some Kentucky lawmakers are pushing a bill in Washington that would change that. They also plan on asking the DEA for an exemption if those bills fail to pass.